Hey there, everyone. Hyper Shadow Phone Hunter here, bringing you back to story time with me this time. Let's see if I can pick up where I left off the last time. Ah, yes, here we go. Over the course of 100 days. Hey, ha, uh, killed 542 people for this rifle. We took out another 150 or so with his SMG, setting his credited kill count up to 705. Since everyone they had was either too dead or too scared to go anywhere near him, the Russians just carpet bombed everywhere they thought he might be. Supposedly they had the right location, and he actually got hit by a cloud of shrapnel that tore his coat up. But it didn't actually hurt him, because he's the white dead. Like what do you expect? Finally, on March 6, 1940, some lucky guy shot him. Hi, hey ha, in the head with an exploding boot. When the soldiers found him and brought him back to base, he had half his head missing. The uh, white death had finally been stopped for about a week. In spite of having come down with a nasty case of shot the face syndrome, he was still very much alive. He gained consciousness on March 13th, the very day the war ended. The best Hollywood could come up? Uh, Lee Swagger, Mark Wahlberg from Shooter. Why does he compare? Because let's see here. Mr. Swagger, he was something akin to a red of 50 cal. Was Teha not only killed 10 times as many men, as Mr. Swagger, or Mark, Mr. Wahlberg. Huh. Don't know. But he did it with a bolt action rifle in 40 below weather in the middle of the forest with one year of military training. Let's see here, there's someone else here I really liked. Ah, yes. Alvin York. Born to a family of redneck farmers from Tennessee. Good on you people from Tennessee. You got a guy that's even more BA in the head. Rambo. Evan Work spent much of his youth getting drunk in bars and getting with crazy bar fights. His friend got killed in one of the aforementioned bar fights. He swore a flicker and him pacifist. He received his draft notice in 1917 and Philip filed a conscientious, conscientious objector that was denied and shipped him out to basic trading. About a year later, he was one of 17 men designated to sneak around and take out a fortified machine gun encampment and guarding a German railroad. As they were approaching, the gunner spotted them and opened fire, tearing nine of them into pieces. A few survivors that did have. Nerves of steel ran away, leaving York standing there, taking fire from 32 heavy machine gunners. As he said in his diary, didn't have to the time to dodge behind a tree or dive into the bush. Didn't even have time to kneel or lie down. Had no time to know. I had no time, no how to do nothing but watch them there, German machine gunners, and give them the best I had. Then I see a German, I just touched him off. First, I was shooting from a prone position. That is lying down. Just like we often shoot at the Terry Pitts in the shooting matches in the tennis mountains of Tennessee. It was just about the same distance, but the targets here were bigger. I couldn't miss a German head or body at this distance, and I did. After he killed the first 20 men or so, a German lieutenant got five guys together to try and tack, take this guy from the side. York pulled out his Colt 45 caliber, which only had eight bullets, and killed all of them with it. A practice he likened to shooting wild turkeys back home. At this point, Lieutenant Paul Jurgen Valmir, yeah, 
asking if York was English. See, in World War One, nobody really took the Americans seriously, and everyone thought of them as the rookies. One more figure this crazy, awesome soldier must be some kind of English Superman, showing these sissy Americans how it was done. When York answered that he was American, Farmer replied, Good Lord, don't shoot anymore. I will make them give up. Ten minutes later, a hundred thirty-three men came walking towards the remains of York's battalion. Yeah, 133 sounds like a good number. It was probably more of uh, was probably you know, modest. Lieutenant Woods, York's superior, at first thought it was a general counterattack until he saw York, who saluted and said, Corporal York reports with prisoners, sir. When the stand officer asked how many, York replied, Honestly, Lieutenant, I don't know the best Hollywood could come up with. John Rambo from Rambo. Why does it compare? Sure, Rambo took on a huge chunk of the Vietnamese soldiers fighting POW camps and slaughters them all. So that was a good ten years after the war. It's not like they were expecting some guy to come charging into the camp throwing everyone down. Kirk pulled this BA, BA stuff off in the middle of a war while it never every bit as badly as Rambo was. And York was a pacifist. There's another American here. But the best Hollywood could come up with was himself. From the movie To Hell and Back. Which is the actual name of the movie, so I will not censor that one. Anyway, it seems like this is a very bad idea because I'm certain I definitely thought it at the time that this was horrible and I had the worst idea ever. Now that's enough track.com articles. So, I'm quite curious actually. How many people actually expect me to win this map? And to tell you the truth, I'm not figuring on any of you raising your hands or you commenting. Why? I don't know, I guess because I'm kind of used to it. Yeah, I don't really care what happens to the, uh... Recon. I mean, sure, it'll get blown... ...brick up, but... Yeah, here's something else that's a jerkish. See that... ...uh... ...battleship? Oh yeah, that's... ...that's gonna be blasted. <laughs> Now? I have no idea. I combed that water and did not find one submarine. And if there was a submarine, I'm pretty sure it would have attacked me by that time. Yes, this mission is just like a walk in the woods mission. Cannons cannot affect you while you're in a wooded area. Oh, rather, if that's just programming design or something else entirely, I don't know. Next time I'm going to actually comment on what I'm doing in the video because, well, I'm out of articles to read. Uncracked.com I still seriously need to find a better way to record this stuff because this is horrible, this audio desync. Oh, and just so you know, I never really do use that superpower. 
I'm just gonna hold that for the entire game because there's no point in using it. Yep, see ya.